Hi Gravitrax fans, this is Chris from The Masked Marble. Today on Set vs. Set, we compare the contents of the Gravitrax Starter Set XXL and the Gravitrax Starter Set Obstacle. Which pieces do these sets have in common? Which pieces are unique to each set? Find out on today's Set vs. Set. First of all, the common pieces. Both sets have these pieces in common. Everything you see in the middle here are included in both the XXL and the Obstacle Starter Set. What are these pieces? Well, First of all, you get two large clear platforms. These are great for building on. You can, you can suspend that into the air using height tiles. You also get four base plates. The base plates are about one foot square and they provide the base for your marble run. Both sets have 56 large height tiles. Each of the large height tiles is one centimeter in height or 10 millimeters. That's where you get your height from. Both of these sets also have 12 small height tiles which are half the height of the large height tile. They allow you to dial in a height. Both sets have 21 curved tiles. Let's readjust the view here. And both sets also have three junction tiles. Inside both the XXL and Obstacle Starter Set, you will find a three-way merge, a three-in-one, and a finish line, which allows you to know the order of the marbles as they finish, which one won the race. Two switches, and the switches come apart, and you can use the base as a two-way merge. Both of the sets also have a vortex that drops the marble down to the next lower level through a clear platform, a magnetic cannon, a launch pad that launches three marbles simultaneously, a landing pad and landing pad insert where the marbles will end their run, a splash pad with basic tile and the splash pad insert has divots in it to hold the marbles in place until they are hit by other marbles. A free fall insert with basic tile. This drops the marble down to the, low, the next lower level. Two catcher inserts and a basic tile. So you get a total of five inserts but only four basic tiles. You get three colored marbles, six of the silver marbles, three of the long tracks, six of the medium tracks, and nine of the short tracks. That's everything that is in common between the two sets. Now let's look at what's unique about the obstacle starter set. That's everything pictured here. First of all, you get a zip line included. The zipline expansion is normally a $10 expansion. You get a spirals expansion that has two spirals. That's normally a $10 expansion. You see that I have them in their highest and lowest configuration. They have these adjustable pieces that you can put on or off to make the spiral different height. You get three transfers. The three transfers are also a $10 expansion normally. Also, you get three bridges and three additional silver marbles as counterweights. You have to use three of the common silver marbles also as counterweights on the bridges. The bridges is normally a $25 expansion and it normally comes with this slow rail, which is four spaces long and it really slows the marble down nice and slow like that and also the speed rail. Now the speed rail is kind of like walking a tight rope. It makes the marble go fast but it also the marble is could sometimes fall off of it unless it's going straight. Let me see if I can get this working here so you can see how fast the marble goes. So it goes nice and fast and then slow on the slow rail. 
The obstacle set has two of the trampolines. The trampoline expansion normally comes with two and it's a $10 expansion. And the marbles just bounce off of the trampolines like that. Also included with that trampoline expansion are two of these small green angled tiles that allow you to fine tune the angle of the trampoline. But I use them everywhere. You also get a single sheet of a track that you can build with all of those bundled expansions in the obstacle starter set. Then you get just a regular track manual that's 24 pages that shows you just using the basic pieces of the obstacle starter set, some tracks that you can build to get familiar with how to build Gravitrax tracks. And then lastly you get the parts manual for the obstacle starter set. It tells you what each part is, what it does, how to assemble it if necessary, and that includes the bundled expansions. So that's everything that's unique about the obstacle starter set. That's all the unique pieces that are not in the XXL. Let's look at the pieces that are in the XXL that are not in the obstacle starter set. You get some more height tiles, an additional 24 of those, and, and this is everything that's unique here. Sorry about my shadow there. So 24 more height tiles for a total of 80. You get 12 more small height tiles, that's double what you would get in the obstacle. You get double the curved tiles at 42, so another 21. You get double the junction tiles, another three of those. Two more switches, so that's double. Another vortex, that's also double. Then you get a th another three-way merge and finish line. You also get another launch pad, another landing pad with landing pad insert, another splash pad with basic tile, another free fall insert with basic tile, another two catcher inserts and one basic tile. You also get double the track, which means another three long pieces, another six medium pieces, and another nine of the short pieces. You also get a hammer expansion. That's normally a $10 expansion. The marble comes in, triggers the hammer, and the hammer shoots it along, gives it a little more energy. You also get a looping expansion. That's normally a $10 expansion. You also get the manuals for both of those expansions. You also get the parts manual and the track manual that come with the XXL. This is a larger 48 page track manual because it not only has tracks that you can build, but in the back it has puzzles that you can solve And here's the parts manual that comes with the XXL. This parts manual is four pages long and is repeated in multiple languages. It tells you what each piece is and how to use it. Also, in the starter set XXL, you get two more of the clear platforms for a total of four. And you also get two more base plates for a total of six. So not quite double the base plates. And that's everything that's unique about the Starter Set XXL. My name is Chris from The Masked Marble, and I hope you've enjoyed this comparison of the Starter Set XXL and the Starter Set Obstacle. Join us next time on Set vs. Set for another comparison between Gravitrax starter sets.